Landscape photography is hard. More often than not, things don't work out and you're left cold, tired and without an image to show for your efforts. But every once in a while, the stars align and all of your hard work and effort is rewarded and you get to witness nature at her very best. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So if you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. So the last part of this workshop sees us hiking high above the Chamonix Valley in France and it's blistering, it's so hot but the location that we're going to, Lac de Chesserie is going to be absolutely breathtaking it's a must see location, a must photograph location and we're heading up there for sunset it's a long hike but it's a glorious one so I'm very much enjoying the start of our French adventure. So, we are about halfway, actually a little over halfway, I'm not going to lie. I really, really want to climb this, I'm a bit jealous of these guys. So, those eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed we have an extra person in our group. That's because this is a workshop, and in France, you're not allowed to take a group commercially without a international mountain leader. So we have brought with us an international mountain leader, Suze. Um, so what extra group? So I just thought I would point that out uh, for continuity reasons, um, of course. So yeah, this, this hike is beautiful. We've got Mont Blanc range there. We've got the Mer de Glace. Quick break and then onwards and upwards to Lac de Chesserie, which is going to be absolutely superb if the winds drop, because we really want those perfect sunset reflections. It's always fun when a photography walk turns into a bit of a climbing Via Ferrata expedition. Never a dull moment on these workshops. Oh, after a relatively long afternoon's hike slash climb we've made it to our location for this evening Lac de Chesserie excuse my pronunciation uh, it's looking good the wind there's no not too much wind so you can see you know good reflections good reflection potential I'm slightly concerned by the foreboding sky above us some big dark thunder clouds overhead hopefully they'll pass in time for sunset and we'll get beautiful light glorious reflections Mont Blanc in the background but for now you can forget photography because I'm carrying a full chicken in my bag and we need to eat So we sat down for dinner, had some beautiful food with this gorgeous view and it was looking okay, it was looking okay. But to be honest, most of us thought the clouds were gonna roll in, it might start raining. It was windy, there was no reflections on the lake. But as is always the case in the mountains, or so it seems, the light just tends to happen. We have almost perfect reflections of the mountain, the Mont Blanc Massif here, which is catching beautiful evening light gorgeous gorgeous panoramic view the light over there is just sublime the clouds add so much atmosphere and detail we are a happy happy bunch of photographers right now and I'll show you what I'm shooting very quickly you know it's hard work getting up here it's hard work you know it was a, a good three hours hiking we had to climb some ladders 
it was a struggle, but this is the reward. And it's simple. There's nothing to it. It's not complicated. It's not difficult. It's a simple, almost letterbox, 16.9, possibly panoramic, haven't decided yet, but it's a simple composition of the beautiful mountains that we've hiked all this way to see. And we're seeing them reflected in this gorgeous, still body of water, which is Lac de Chesserie. And the photography itself, I'll be honest, easy peasy. Frame the shot, check your exposure, check your focus, take the image. It was getting up here that was the hard work. And this, this is the reward. Absolutely breathtaking and it's going to continue to get better, I do believe so. But yeah, right now we have light, reflections, cloud and atmosphere. Everything you could ever want. The reflections are beautiful, but the conditions open up photographic opportunities everywhere. And just there, let me see if I can get that to come for you. Yeah, you can see that dark spot there. That dark spot is a mountain coming through the clouds. I like to think of them as sky islands. They look like islands floating in the sky because they're completely surrounded by cloud, apart from the, the mountain through the window of the cloud, and it looks fantastic. And with the light hitting the beautiful rock, it makes for a very foreboding image. Um, as soon as I saw this, I grabbed the long lens, trained it in on the mountain, focused on the granite. F9, bit of a polarizer, and grabbed the shot. And it's weather in the mountains is always changing, is it always, always, always opening up photographic opportunities like this one. You just don't get this without putting in the hard work. And everyone here right now is just elated. It's just gorgeous. No words, I have no words. I'm gonna keep shooting. So that peak you can see just above my camera lens there and over my left shoulder, that is the Drew. That is the peak coming through the cloud. It's glorious, the cloud is vibrant with rich colors and tones and the drama and the cloud and the foreboding nature of the mountain just makes this for me one of the best images of the trip by far. We have our long lenses out shooting this mountain. It's glorious, it's absolutely glorious. Right now, I'm trying a two minute exposure with a 10 stop filter. Um, I kind of guess the exposure time. <laughs> um, and I think, I'm hoping it's gonna work out and add something different. Um, it's a bit of an experiment, but this, if it works out and if it's sharp and if it's well exposed, yeah, this image could be something else because this is just, it's absolutely stunning. So it's always difficult to leave a scene like this. It's, it's glorious, but the best of the light has been, we have milked it to its fullest. We have some fantastic shots. Now it's getting dark and we have a very, very long hike back down to the valley floor. So couldn't have asked for more. Genuinely could not have asked for more this evening. So, so happy with Lac Chesserie. 
and the Mont Blanc Massif, and of course, the Drew, which has blown my mind. As night fell and we made our way down in the darkness, we all reminisced over the triumphs of this photography journey and the conditions we had been blessed with. It's been a tough week, but without putting yourself out there day after day, you would not get to experience landscape photography at its very best. So thank you for watching and thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this content. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you design and build your own website. So if you're looking for a portfolio or any kind of website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and give it a free try. And if you like your free trial, use the offer code Heaton for 10% off your first purchase. <laughs> <laughs> this guy ruining it for everyone with his... It's very bad to assume. Yeah. <laughs> this is not Swiss humor, this is why you don't like the Swiss. <laughs> so guys, what do you really think about this trip? It's amazing. Astonishing. Beautiful places, very badly planned. No, no, <laughs> very badly planned. <laughs> yeah, the honesty is coming. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you honestly think about this guy? Oh. I think he's a hero. Yeah. <laughs> he just admire, bought pizzas. Yes. Yeah. He's feeding us. That's that his redeeming them. quality, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he pulled it through on the last day. <laughs> oh my I think he had the hardest time. And then I would really it. love to. I would really love to drink a beer with you, but you don't. <laughs> you always deny. Oh, it. I'm always but you can eat a pizza. But you can eat a pizza with him. Yeah. Well, I do today. Yeah. So. <laughs> Vera, what do you think about this group? You don't really know them. Uh, yet. I have been there with them like one day, and I don't know how you stand them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the honesty! Yeah. Honesty, we love it. Well, I've fallen in love with all of them. Oh. <laughs> I'm so good at lying. Yeah. Okay, video out.